the class 10 to be the same lesson that is life group. In our previous class, we are studying about the transportation. In transportation, there are two ways in the human body. First, we are studying about the transportation with the help of our pump, that is our heart. Some channels are there to support that circulatory system, circulation through human heart. These channels are called blood vessels. Blood vessels. Actually, the three types of blood vessels are there. First is called artery and second is called vein. <coughs> There are a little bit difference between these two. Different on the basis of their work they perform. First difference between these two. These are the tubes which carries the blood throughout the body. Pumps the blood, heart pumps the blood and that blood is circulated with the help of the artery and the artery always carry the oxygen first. Arteries always carry oxygenated blood. The blood which is present in arteries, oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood. And the blood which is present in the vein is called deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood. One exception is there is there that you know very well. Pulmonary artery always carry deoxygenated blood. And pulmonary vein always carries oxygenated blood. Only these two are responsible for the interchange of the blood. Rest of the artery always carry oxygenated blood, and the vein always carry the deoxygenated blood. The blood which is flow in artery is always in the high pressure. The pressure of the blood which is present in artery is high pressure blood. Because when the heart pump, the aorta carries that blood with high pressure. The blood jump up high to circulate in the body. Blood circulate in artery is always in high pressure. But what happens in the way? The pressure of the blood flows in way is low. The pressure is always low. Okay. So what is the third difference between this? The difference in the structure. Because the blood flows in artery is in high pressure. So the wall of artery is thick. Thick wall. Thick wall. Okay. Thick wall is present in the artery. But what happens with the vein? So blood which is flows in vein is in the low pressure. So the vein, the wall of the vein is thin wall. And more important thing is that the blood flows in the artery is from heart to different part of the body. So there is no differentiation place is present in the artery. That we call the uh, any barrier or septa. Okay. So without septa, no septa is present. Septa is the part which blocks the flowing of the blood. This is the artery. The wall of the artery is thick. And the blood flows smoothly through it. But what happened in the vein? The vein wall is thin and it also contains septa. Septa is important to avoid the reverse flow of the blood. We know that vein carries the blood in reverse direction from the toe to our heart. The septa provides a separation, a back flow, avoid the back flow of the blood from upper part to the lower part. So, septa is absent in artery, but the septa is present in vein. So, this is the blood vessel. Artery always carry the pure blood, veins always carry the impure blood. Veins and arteries further divide for capillary. Capillary. Okay? Three are three things are there, three channels are there. First is the artery, second is the vein, and third is the capillary, which combinedly called blood. Okay, so this is the part of our circulation with the help of human heart. But one more circulatory substance is present in our body, and that circulatory substance is called lymph. 
Limbs. It is also a liquid, a fluid which is present in our body and it is also circulate in our body. In human beings, the two substances are there for the circulation. One is called the blood and one is called the limbs. So what is the basic difference between these two? What is the difference between limbs and the blood? The basic difference of the these, these two, the first important difference is the color of the blood. Color of the substance. You know very well, blood contains hemoglobin and because of that, it is red in color. Why is it red in color? Because hemoglobin is present there, RBC is present there, but limbs, it is pale yellow and pale up to white. Okay, it is white in color. White in color. The first difference between these two is about the color. Color of the limbs is pale yellow or white color. It is uh, white in color. This is the composition. We know that the composition of blood. What the substance which is present in the blood? Blood contains plasma. Blood contains RBC. Blood contains WBC. Blood contains platelets. Okay, you know very well the composition of blood. But what happened in the limbs? One substance is missing, and that substance is the RBC. So, so limbs contain plasma, WBC, and plate. Okay, RBC is absent in the limbs. So that is the second difference between these two. The third important difference is that association. What is the work? What is the function that is performed by the blood? What is the function of the blood? Blood is associated with, it is associated with circulation of, circulation of oxygen and carbon dioxide. As we know that hemoglobin carries oxygen from lungs and it is distributed throughout the body, then respiration occurs and because of the respiration, carbon dioxide is formed, it is again collected by the blood and it is transported to the heart and from lungs, it is passes out from the body. So that circulation, that association is of the blood. Now what is the association of the limb? What is the function of the limb? Actually, limb is associated with a different system. It provides a different system, immune system in the body. So it associates with it associated with defense system, defense system, and immune system. Immune system, the system which protects us from the disease. So that is the importance of the limb. So this is the basic difference between the blood and the limb. Now, what is limb and what is the circulation that is performed by the limb? That is the second part of the circulation or transportation. So as I told you, there are two substances which is transported in our body, circulated in our body. One is called the blood and another one is called the limb. The, the substance which is circulated by the blood is called the blood circulation system or blood circulatory system or the system which is performed with the help of the heart. The second system which is present in our body is called the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. And it is as important as the blood circulatory system in our body. Second circulation or transportation in our body is called the lymphatic system. Some terms which is related or associated or component which is present in the system. First, what is the lymphatic system? Lymphatic system in the human body is a system which transports the liquid called lymph. Okay, what is the lymphatic system? It is a system present in human body. It is system of circulation of circulation in human body in human body what uh, uh, human body what is the uh, substance which is transport it transport limb body which transport which transport transport limb Okay, what 
transported limbs. Okay, limbs. Uh, limbs is transported from uh, the uh, the rooty where or the root from where this all limbs is uh, circulated in the body. It from the body tissue. This limb is circulated from body tissue. Body tissue. It is started from the body tissue to the blood circulatory system. To the blood circulatory system. Blood circulatory system. So simply, this is our heart. Okay, this is the human heart. Let suppose this is the human heart. Okay, the blood starts flowing through aorta. It circulates through the body. Okay, then the oxygenated blood collected and it is given to the heart. So this is the direction. Two direction flow is there. Okay, one from heart to tissue organ of the body, and second from the organ of the body to heart. Two direction flow is present there. But this is not happened with the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system it has unidirectional flow. Unidirectional flow means all the lymph is collected from the tissue, and it is circulated to the heart. Only one flow is there. It is. From the body tissue to the blood circulatory system, and so it is called the lymphatic system. It is separated from the blood circulatory system. So lymphatic system. The first term used here is the lymph. We know that what is lymph? What is lymph? As we know that it is pale yellow or white color substance. It is a clear to white fluid tissue which is composed of two main substances. That is the lymphocyte and the blood cell. It is pale yellow, pale yellow, or clear to white, clear to white fluid, fluid which is composed by, which is composed by, composed by two substances there: lymphocyte. Lymphocyte and WBC. As you know that, what is the role of WBC? WBC is the fighting. It fights against the disease. It is the security system of the body. It builds the security system of the body. And same as the function performed by the lymphocyte. So what is the lymph? It is the pale yellow, white color fluid, which is composed of the lymphocyte and WBC. The terms which are used. Which comes, which comes 
into it for body tissues, body tissues or cell tissues. The cell tissues the group of cells, body tissues or fluid, body tissues fluid between the fluid between the. Fluid which is present between the body tissue cells, okay, between the cells. So this is the main component of the limb. Okay, limb also contains some uh, waste material uh, like uh, dead uh, dead cells. Dead cells are also present in limb. So limb also contains limb also contains uh, dead cells. Dead cells. Okay, and germ cells also. When the germ cells are killed by the lymphocytes, lymph uh, lymphocytes and the WBC, that the killed germ also present in this in this uh, limb, which is circulated through the lymphatic system. So, what is the lymphatic system? Lymphatic system is a system of circulation in human body which transport limbs from body tissue to the blood circulatory system. Must remember, it is another mode of circulation in human body. It is another mode of circulation. We are talking about our body circulation in human body. The first is that it is another mode of circulation in human body. Second important thing is that it has unidirectional flow. Unidirectional flow. What is the unidirectional flow? As I told you, it always flows. So, um, always flows in one direction. And what is that direction? From cell to heart. What is that unidirection? That is from cells or tissues to heart. It flows only in one direction. Okay, that's most important thing, which is the most important character of the lymphatic system. And what all thing is present in the limb? This thing is called extracellular fluid. The substance. The substance or substances present in present in limb are called are called extracellular fluid. Extracellular fluid. Okay, what is the meaning of extracellular fluid? Extra means with more in content, which is more. Uh, in amount uh, cellular, which is present in the cell because it is a uh, cell or tissue fluid, so it is called the extracellular fluid. Okay, what is important is there? It contains lymphocyte and WBC. This lymphocyte and WBC is present. So lymphocyte and WBC is important for our immune system first and second to protect us from the disease. On the basis of this, we are able to identify. The function of the limb. What is the important function of the limb? Limb performs three important functions. It is very much important for our body, and the function of the limb is divided into three parts. The three important functions of the body. Now, what are the functions of the limb? Now, what is the function or functions of limb? We know all the characters which is present in the limb. So, what is the function? Main function of the limb is it circulates nutritive substance. Nutritive substance like digestive fat, uh, protein molecules, etc. The first function is that it circulates. It circulates digestive, digestive nutritive substance. Nutritive. Substance. And what are the substances with uh, that is digestive fat, digestive fat, okay, and large protein molecules which are very essential for our body. A large protein molecules. All this, these substances are essential, very much essential for our body. Now, what is the second important function of the limb? As we know that it is composed of lympho, lympho, uh, it is composed of lymphocyte and WBC. So, it helps to protect our body. It helps in killing the germ. What is the second important function? It 
provide defense system defense system okay how by killing the germs by killing the germs as we know that that is the function of wbc but your lymphocyte is also present so our wbc is little bit strong because two are there to fight with the germs it provide a different system to our body also these are capable to also produce these are capable to produce antibodies antibodies previously we all again discussed about the antibodies antibodies are some substances which is generated by our body which protect us or which uh, give us strength to fight with that disease uh, today uh, nowadays we are missing this word very much antibodies which is present in the plasma so plasma donation for covid patient if you are suffering from the covid then after recovery you are able to donate your plasma which is contain antibodies now what is the third important function of the lymph the lymph contains some waste material also waste material like the uh, fragment of the dead cells or germ cells etc etc so it helps in the removing of the substance it helps in removing of in removing of fragments of dead cells fragments of dead cells not only the dead cells also all the waste substances you know dead cells and waste substances of the body waste substances substances of the body here we are going to complete our topic that is for the transportation in transportation the two part is for the transportation the two system is there which is present in our body one is called the blood circulatory system and second is called the lymphatic system and both the processes very much important for our body without that we are unable to serve Thank mm -hmm. you.